So let's go continue reading the rest of this. I want to say something. The economy and the ultra rare stuff is the least important thing of the game. It's the least important thing for the game, honestly. I don't like it when... Okay, that's your, that's your opinion, but okay. I don't like it when the hardcore grinders say that they hate the missions and that is the worst thing. If anything, um, actually, actually, with the whole update, you also have to realize that they've did some opposite things as well. So just going back into this, um, where hoarding went severely wrong, there's been two times, to my knowledge, where hoarding actually was a good idea. For example, there was no incentive for... There was no incentive to, to mass hoard those items when it originally came out because the developers stated that they were that the mysterious vendor was going to be permanent and that actually turned out to be a lie when the developers took away the, the mysterious vendor and thus the value of these items actually skyrocketed. So an item that costed 100k actually turned out to be 500k. So that's a that's an that's actually an opposite effect when so it's not it's not it's not always bad and 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 another thing would again have to be um, the hollow set now now the value for the hollow set uh, being one hundred k a piece piece I and, and in my opinion I I disagree with this because an item that has been around since the very beginning of retro since the future i believe um and has been free it's not suddenly worth 100k um i think it, it should be worth less than that and this might be uh chains but either way you 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 got they turned a a set that's worth zero taros and they made it incredibly expensive within an update so this so this is something to to take notice take notice so ultimately the devs ultimately the devs when it comes to changes for the economy it's understandable and it's not and and it's not and not always the the changes are actually bad i don't like it when the hardcore grinders say that they hate the missions and that is the worst thing and and they and then they say that it's the worst part of the game, and give and instead give more importance to a full bank of solemn hats. That is a indirect jab towards someone that I know, Mister Solomon. You know who you are. Um, but last time I heard, he actually gave away all of those hats. I think. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is something that I that I'm personally kind of dislike that it's but it's also kind of like okay we live in a society where we binge content where we try and go through the material as fast as possible and then move on to the next form of entertainment for example when uh, rick and morty came out or actually a better example when fusion fall retro officially came out with the release of the past people binged through the content and we saw ourselves a lot of level 36s within one month and then after that uh they just went on to their own to their own game right that's understandable we live in we live in a society that consumes content at a much faster rate compared to a decade ago now something that i do dislike and I, that i that and something that i do agree with you would have to be when they binge through the content and they then complain oh there's nothing else to do i mean why did you do why why did you why did you absorb the content as soon as possible um like you complain before the update oh there's nothing to do there's nothing to do and then when update arrives uh you consume it as soon as possible and then you're back to complain that that's something that i that i have uh, that i have a problem with but 
even with that into consideration, I I can also I can also understand their perspective as well. So again, this video is trying to see things from both sides, trying to find a middle ground, and you know when the when the time squad update came out when the new nanos update came out i you know as a content creator i um i made a live stream and i made several videos for the update and there's nearly five hours of content where i'm just going through the material looking and appreciating everything i'm searching up the references i'm, I'm really trying to um, appreciate how much effort the developers have placed into this update that you can tell that they put in a lot of love into it that I am grateful for I've really smelled the flowers and when I was done with the update I was posting on reddit I was posting on the forums I was posting on my discord server congratulating the devs and just being overall excited with the with the update and seeing how the introduction of these nanos is a major milestone in terms of development for the game because one of the biggest questions was is it possible to add in new nanos and the answer to that is yes now even with that in, into consideration, this is the part that I can understand why these people become pessimistic. I dislike it when they rush through the game and then they immediately complain. At least for me, I smell the flowers, but the, but I do agree when they do complain. The part that the part that many people that many of the complainers talk about would have to be okay. What like would have to be after the update. What else do we do? There's nothing else to do. Well, I can understand that perspective, but I also can also uh, disagree with, with that perspective as well. So at least with, with the new Nanos update, they actually took a, a step in the right direction. For example, when the Bandito, the Rodney Hat gold exclusive items were introduced, a lot of people were very happy because because for the first time um well because for the first time or one of the first times when an update came out once we consumed the, the main content we finally had something to do after after it we, we managed to go uh get rodney's which which is something that i really capitalized on i made tens of millions of taros uh, through that and like I have like 30 30 Rodneys inside of the game that people are wearing um, So it, it made the it made the it made the grinding slash trading community very happy and you know with this update With this update with the Rodney update. I was I remember I was congratulating the devs and praising them Yeah, this is a step in the right direction. We want to see more of this and ideally it would be awesome if you could also include more racing items as well right um, and thankfully they actually delivered for the new nanos update they've delivered that after you've done the four nano missions um, you actually have the opportunity to go grind three not just one not just two but three gold exclusive shirts that is a great step in the right direction you're gonna see you're gonna hear it right direction from me often inside of this video so so that's something to really uh, look forward to um, so yeah like the main attractor the main marketing thing that allows that the original game had would have to that separated it from the other games would have to be the new would have to be the new nanos um, would have to be the, would have to be the nanos themselves right because you would have 36 nanos from the sh from the cartoon network shows that you loved and that's the main attraction people did not people like when fusion fall originally came out came out people did not sign up because hey look at all all of these cool items 
Yeah, it was probably inside of their head, but that's not the first reason, at least for the vast majority of them. When they saw the trailers when the original game came out, they're, they can understand, oh, look at all of these uh, characters that I love, that I've watched, that I grew up with, and oh, really? I can actually have my own version of these nanos? That's really cool. Well, let me go sign up. Let me go pay a subscription. And then the items were just secondary towards it. You know, so I, I can definitely I can definitely relate uh, with this person um, 